Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Samantha, thank you so much for joining me. So um, in my last video, I shared the uh, top 10 penetrating oils, which can be a real game changer um, for our hair. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the non-penetrating or uh, sealing oils as they're commonly known. And the reason I wanted to share this video is to give you um, some information about um, the different types of oils, because I truly believe that, um, you know, in order for you to get the most benefit out of a product, it's important to know what the product is for and how to use it. Because otherwise, you know, you might get something and think, oh, it doesn't work when actually um, you've just been misinformed and um, you have unfortunately not used it correctly. So um, I'm not going to talk about one or two or three. I'm actually going to give you a list of 10. And the reason I want to do this is to give you options and just to explain each and every one of the um, oils so that you can make an informed decision about um, which one you would like to try, which one would benefit you in, um, you know, on your hair care journey, because we know not everything works for everybody. And it's always good to have options in case something that you wanted isn't available. Um, it means, you know, you're not going to necessarily neglect your hair for um you know a, a, a silly reason like that so um if you're interested in that video keep on watching grab a snack grab a drink make yourself comfortable and enjoy the video So first of all, I'm going to talk about the natural sealing oils, which occur naturally versus the synthetic or man-made oils. And the first one is one of my favorites, which is castor oil. And if you've watched any of my videos in which I show you how I moisturize my hair, you'll know that I use castor oil more often than not. So castor oil is um, derived from the castor beans and it can come as either just normal castor oil or as dark or even extra dark castor oil. The difference is that, um, when the castor beans have been roasted and then ash is added to the oil that's when you get dark and extra dark castor oil but the moisturizing benefits of castor oil will be the same regardless of whether it's normal dark or extra dark um, so it has deeply moisturizing properties it also helps to strengthen the hair because of the fatty acids in it it promotes hair growth particularly the dark and extra dark um, castor oil. It also reduces dandruff because it has anti-inflammatory properties. It helps prevent hair loss and it also helps to add shine and that's why it's loved by so many people um, when they start the hair journey. The next one is shea butter, another favorite of mine. So shea butter is a solid oil, which um, also has deeply moisturizing properties. It helps to reduce frizz by smoothing the hair cuticle and makes the hair more manageable. And it also helps to nourish and soothe an irritated scalp. It can help to protect the hair from heat or sun damage, but I must stress it's not going to be as effective as a commercial heat protectant. It also helps to prevent breakage, enhances shine, and also minimizes split ends. So the next one is mango butter, another solid oil. So mango butter is slightly lighter in weight compared to shea butter. Um, it has deeply moisturizing properties. It helps to soften and smoothen the hair, um, again, by smoothing the hair cuticle. And also helps to improve the scalp health by adding um, nutrients to the scalp. It also protects the hair from environmental damage, produces breakage and also adds shine just like um, shea butter. So it's a really, really good oil. Next on the list is cocoa butter. Now, cocoa butter is a pretty hard, solid butter um, or oil, and it's not really easy to melt between your hands. Um, you'd have to put in quite a bit of work. Um, so 
the best way to use cocoa butter is either melt it over low heat or actually even better you can whip it with a light oil um, like olive oil or almond oil etc you know one of the penetrating oils and that will help to soften it and make it easy to apply to your hair and scalp so like the others it has deeply moisturizing properties um, it also helps to strengthen the hair and it also prevents breakage. It softens and smooths the hair and it can help to improve the scalp health and it also helps to prevent split ends. So if you apply it to your ends, um, it helps reduce the friction, which is um, a common cause for split ends. Um, and it also adds shine to the hair. So it's a really good butter. The next one is safflower oil. Safflower oil isn't talked about that much in the hair care world, but it's actually a fantastic oil. Um, so safflower oil also has deeply moisturizing properties. It can help to improve the scalp health and it helps to reduce frizz and enhance its shine. So safflower oil has um, linoleic acid, which is a really good um fatty acid which can help to strengthen the hair so um, using safflower oil on a regular basis can help to strengthen your hair and that's how it can prevent breakage and then the next one is hemp seed oil which is um, another popular oil in the hair care world if you look at your products quite a few of them you'll find that they have hemp seed oil um, on their list of ingredients so in case you're worried whether or not this will get you high you know um, don't worry it won't get you high because it's not the same as smoking weed um, this is just the oil that is extracted from the seeds of the hemp plant so it's not going to get you high and actually has lots of properties which are beneficial for both the hair and the scalp so it's deeply moisturizing and it can help to improve the scalp health and it also helps to strengthen the hair and reduce frizz so it also helps to balance the oil production on the scalp so we're talking about the sebum production so if you're a high sebum producer applying some hemp seed oil can help to reduce that um, but it also helps to promote hair growth and it can also help to prevent split ends um, so it's a wonderful oil and now I'm going to mention a couple of waxes. They're not necessarily oils, but I just put them in this category because they are really good sealants. Um, so the first one is beeswax, which is derived from um, the bees honeycomb. So it's produced by honeybees. And this is commonly found in pomades and other styling products because it is renowned for giving excellent hold and definition and shaping to hairstyles and also adds shine and it helps to seal in moisture, protect against environmental damage and reduced frizz and it also nourishes the scalp. The alternative to beeswax is candelilla wax. So the difference between beeswax and candelilla wax is that beeswax is produced by honeybees and candelilla wax is derived from the candelilla shrub, which is found in North America. So it's a plant-based um, wax. So candelilla wax would be a good alternative to people who prefer not to use products which are animal derived um, or who are vegan, um, who prefer cruelty free products, etc. So the benefits of candelilla wax are very similar to those of beeswax. It also gives good hold and um, structure to hairstyles and it adds shine, seals and moisture and will help to soften their hair it reduces frizz and it also helps to protect the hair from environmental elements so um although a lot of people don't like using waxes in the hair a lot of people um, a lot of other people do and they have found them to be really beneficial and now we're going to move on to the synthetic or man-made sealing oils. So these oils are not naturally occurring. They have been created in the lab um, by lots of clever people. So the first one is mineral oil. And if you look at a lot of your hair products, you'll find that these are included, unless of course you actually choose to use products without mineral oil. Now, mineral oil was used extensively uh, way back when, but more recently, people have um, uh, think that it may cause hair damage, and that's why a lot of companies are now removing it from the ingredient list. Um, but a lot of people still use products with mineral oil, and that's because of um, the potential benefits, which include sealing and moisture, 
and it also helps to protect the ends from friction so it can help to protect your ends from uh, splitting, splitting and it also used as a styling aid for sleek styles um, and to some extent it can help the hair from heat damage during styling but um, it's definitely not going to be as effective as a commercial heat protectant if you want to use heat then try by all means to get a proper heating protectant and now we're going to talk about uh, petroleum jelly, which is also known as mineral jelly and also known as petrolatum. So petroleum jelly, um, it's essentially the solid form of mineral oil. It contains mineral oil, which remember um, is the hydrocarbons from petroleum and it also has wax. So they've mixed um, mineral oil and wax to produce the semi-solid form which is known as the petroleum jelly. So like mineral oil it has lost popularity amongst many people in the hair care world um, but a lot of people still use it because um, some people find that it does actually benefit the hair in terms of sealing and moisture and um, it also helps to protect the ends from friction and therefore can help protect from split ends and it can also you know give you a nice sleek style and it can also reduce flyaways and frizz so it's quite popular. So in terms of how to use these non-penetrating sealing oils, they can be used in a variety of ways. For example, you can use them simply to lock in moisture and hydration. So on wash day, after you've applied your leave-in conditioners, you apply one of these oils as the last step, and that will help to keep your hair moisturized for longer, and you won't need to moisturize frequently, um, so it can help to prevent dryness. You can also use them as a scalp emollient, particularly if you have dry, flaky scalp. So people with eczema will be familiar with this because a lot of the emollients they use, the ones that are prescribed or they can get over the counter, have petroleum jelly in them. It may be called soft paraffin um, or liquid paraffin. Effectively, it is petroleum jelly and it can help to lock in moisture and also to soothe dry, irritated skin and scalp is skin. You can also use them as a styling aid, especially the waxes and the mineral oils, because um, they can help to create styles and structure and hold. They give a nice hold and they can also tame flyaways and also help to reduce frizz. So um, that's why you find a lot of stylists use them. And along the same lines, you can use them to uh, minimize friction. So um, you use them as a lubricant. And that's why you find a lot of stylists when they're putting in a protective style, that they will apply some sort of um, um, lubricant, whether it's an oil or a grease, because that will help to minimize friction and help to protect your hair while it is in the protective style. And you can also use them to prevent split ends. So you just apply a small amount to the ends of your hair, um, especially if you wear your hair out, because that will, again, lubricate your ends and prevent um, friction and therefore prevent the formation of split ends. So that's the list of the sealing oils that I had for you for today. I hope you found the video useful and helpful. And if you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. So um, let me know in the comment section if there are any of these oils that you've used, which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like, which ones you'd like to try and which ones you will avoid like the plague. Um, and also your reasons why it will be helpful to know your reasons why. And um, before I go, I just want to give my subscribers a massive massive thank you because with your love and support you're helping the channel to grow and we are on our way to reaching 10,000 subscribers at which point we'll have a nice little giveaway so if you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed make sure you subscribe and also let your friends and family know um, through your socials etc or word of mouth let them come to the channel and we'll get to this giveaway real soon um, so Thank you so much again for watching. I'll have another video for you real soon. Until then, take care, my lovelies. Take care of your loved ones and God bless. Bye for now.